Hey everyone, it's Rick Carson, and today we're at the beautiful Make Believe Studios to talk to you about Mixhead. And in this video, we're gonna specifically talk about what Mixhead is doing. A lot of people are asking me, and I've spent way too much time on the phone over the past 48 hours, so I've decided to just make this video and hopefully clear up a little bit of misconceptions. The first is that it's just a saturation plugin. And I have to say that Mixhead is not just a saturation plugin. While there is a saturation aspect to what's going on, it goes a little bit deeper than that. So let's get into it. So when you start at the top of the plugin in the signal path, you have the input control and then the drive control. And these are both just completely clean stacked gain. And they go into the drive circuit, which is almost like an 1176 in the sense that it doesn't have a threshold. You drive into it. Almost everything in this box is like an 1176 or an LA-2A in the way that it doesn't have a threshold. You drive into the box. So balancing the input is what I would consider one of the first things that you want to look out for when you're diving into the mix head. But I digress, we're going to get back to it right now. So you have the two stack gains and then you have the drive control. After the drive control, you have a broadband compressor. And that compressor has a very, very shallow knee, very shallow ratio, and it is one of those things that is very, very subtle. And after that broadband compressor, you have a frequency dependent compressor that works almost exactly backwards to how I would expect it to work when it comes to a digital tape machine processor. It works in the sense that it only looks at high frequency information, the information that exists above 5.7K, and it utilizes that in its side chain to compress the frequencies below 5.7K. This you know, frequency dependent compressor also has something very, very peculiar in its operation in which when you push into it past a certain amount of gain reduction, it will morph into a limiter that's extremely fast with almost a near instantaneous attack time and a 65 millisecond release. So you've got the two stack gains, you've got distortion, you've got a broadband compressor, you've got a frequency dependent compressor, which will then morph into a limiter. And then after that, you have the high frequency adjust. And the high frequency adjust is made up of a linear phase filter that is shaped almost like minimum phase filters. So it's interesting in how it gets its job done because the phase shift that occurs in that filter is very minimal. Um, and it is a big part of the sound. Once again, we've got stacked gain into a drive processor, into a broadband compressor, into a frequency dependent compressor that morphs into a limiter, and then we have our high frequency adjust filter. And when you go into the 3.75 mode, which is a new mode for Mixhead, that allows you to insert the transfer function curve of our web core tape machine and that happens right before the drive. In that situation, you have your two stack gain controls, your transfer function, your distortion generator, your broadband compressor, your frequency dependent compressor that morphs into a limiter, and then your high frequency adjust filter. So hopefully that clears some stuff up. One of my favorite things about Mixhead is that all the DSP inside of it was already available inside of the Metric Halo interfaces and their plugin suite. So we really were able to put this together utilizing things that BJ had been working on for a long time. And I think that that is wonderful. It came together in a way that was very, very natural. So thank you to everyone involved and we hope you have a wonderful day.